The following video is brought to you by Mycogen Seeds. Higher oil content, higher premium potential, higher yield potential. Mycogen brand sunflowers are a step above the competition. Talk to your local Mycogen Seeds dealer about getting the hybrid most preferred by processors today. Saline spots, sour ground, alkali land. These are some of the few names with which we try to describe our problematic spots in northeastern North Dakota. In our previous video, we talked with specialist Naeem Kalwar at the NDSU Langdon Research Extension Center in Langdon, North Dakota, who is specifically working on soil health issues. We now return with Mr. Kalwar to discuss solutions against these problems. What type of symptoms should farmers be looking for in their fields? The most common symptom is the white soil crust on the soil surface. Poor or no seed germination, along with his stunted plant growth, is another example. However, it may be due to some other problems too. To assess the severity of the problem, it is recommended to sample soils and get them analyzed for salinity or sodicity problems. Are there any practical solutions for farmers to use to manage these problems? Yes, it is practical to manage these problems. Mainly, salts must move downward in the soils. So the focus should be to lower groundwater levels and to improve soil drainage. That can be done by intercepting surrounding water seeps, efficient use of infield and boundary field ditches, and adding soil organic matter. High groundwater levels can also be controlled either by planting late maturing and deep rooted crops or by installing surface or subsurface drainage systems. What further steps should farmers take? For saline soils, once we take these measures, the leaching of soluble salts will start under good soil moisture conditions. For sodic soils though, we have to use calcium supplements like gypsum in order to displace the excessive sodium from the cation exchange sites by mixing these supplements thoroughly in the soil before the start of salt leaching process. Once excessive sodium contacts the soil water, it will also leach out of the plant root zone. How long will it take for the soil to get back to its normal health? It all depends how severe is the problem, the amount of rainfall we receive during that time, soil type, its physical and chemical characteristics, along with the management practices. It is also important to initially start with a salt-resistant crop, and once the severity of these problems decreases, then we can switch to better cash value crops. And farmers always like to have a good value on their crops. 